Hi there, I'm Andrea from ACDC, and welcome to the ACDC Ancestry series. In this series, we will follow a boy and his dog as they go from dull, forgotten film negative to lively, full-color photo using ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2020. In this video, part two of the series, we will take an old, scratched-up image and restore it to a beautiful black and white photograph. To learn how we got to this point, check out part one, how to develop a negative, and to see what happens next, check out part three, how to add color to a black and white photo. You can find the links to these in the description of this video. Open the photo in edit mode. You can see some of the edges are torn, so the first thing I'll do is crop the image. I want to get rid of the torn edges, but also keep my subjects centered as best as possible. Now I'll adjust the levels. To do this, I need to set my black and white reference points. Click on the black eyedropper, then click on your image where it should be black. I'm going to pick this shadow under the armpit. You can see that once you tell ACDC, okay, this dark gray pixel is actually supposed to be black. The entire image is automatically adjusted based on that dark gray pixel value being the baseline for black. Now I'll set my white reference point by clicking on the white eyedropper and then selecting a spot on the snow for my white baseline. You can see it does the same thing based on the off-white pixel value of the snow representing white. You can set a gray midpoint if you want, but in this case, I don't think it's necessary. So I'll leave it at that and now try to get rid of some of the dust and scratches on the photo using the noise reduction tool. This tool is going to blur the photo slightly, so I'll play around with the sliders and only use it to the extent in which it makes sense, being careful not to lose too much detail. For the rest of the blemishes on the photo, I'll use the repair tools. Now it's no secret that my favorite repair tool is the blended clone tool. It's great because I can just right click over a clean spot on the sheet hanging in the background. It clones the texture and color value of it, then apply that section by left clicking over a scratch on the sheet. It blends the cloned spot in with the natural shadows and highlights of the image, removing the scratch. I'll fast forward through this process. Feel free to restore your photo as you see fit, using your own judgment to determine what makes sense in the photo and what doesn't. Also, I recommend saving the file periodically throughout the editing process because it may take a while to complete and you might want to take a break and come back to it without losing all your hard work. During the editing process, I make sure to save my file as an ACDC file and at the very end I'll also save it as a JPEG. Now that that is done, you can see it's looking much cleaner, but the lines in the image could be a lot more defined. I'll use Light EQ to really control the brightness of each pixel without washing out the entire image. Under the Advanced tab, I'll increase the darkness on the shadows and the brightness on the highlights. I think the lines are looking pretty good now. There's one spot though, where the boy's cheek blends in with the sheet in the background. To bring out this edge, I'll use Light EQ again, but I'll apply it to specific parts of the photo using the Edit Brush. If I set the brush to show my brush strokes, you can see where the adjustments will be applied. 
I'd like to darken his cheek, so I'll brush over the area and then darken it by increasing the darkening slider. If I deselect Show Brush Strokes, you can see how that one area changes with my slider adjustments. I'm also going to add a bit more shadow to the sheet where it meets his earlobe. The photo looks pretty much restored now and I could stop here, but I'd like to enhance this black and white photo further. I'll start with a black and white adjustment layer. It's looking a little red, so I'll adjust the green slider to balance that out. Now I'll add a noise reduction adjustment layer to see if that makes a difference. I do see a subtle improvement, so I'll keep that layer. I'm also going to add a clarity adjustment layer. Increasing the clarity and adding the Orton effect works perfectly to really make the edges in the image pop. Now I'll save my file as an ACDC file to preserve my layers. And then also save it as a JPEG so I have a digital copy to share with my family. Let's compare the restoration to the original. Thanks for following along, and don't forget to check out the other videos in the ACDC Ancestry series.